Tonight, supporters behind a new multi-use stadium shared new plans for that project in downtown Knoxville. It will play host to baseball, concerts, shops, and restaurants surrounded by apartments, condos, and new businesses. Reporter Mary Klingler joins us with some new models of that stadium for us tonight. Yeah, the stadium supporters welcomed members of the community to a meeting tonight to go over the progress report on the stadium and the Urban League wants to encourage people to bid on projects tied to the stadium. And we begin with the latest 3D look at the project and how it will take shape. Soon a venue with 7,000 seats for fans goes up along Jackson Avenue. Updated plans call for the stadium project in Knoxville to look like this, including a scoreboard in the shape of the state of Tennessee overlooking downtown. It will be open to the public year round, featuring a place to live, work, play and shop. Actually bringing it up out of the ground, that's what we get more, most excited about. A great atmosphere for, for, for a baseball game, for a soccer game and any other type of stadium event. Batting cages visible to fans when they walk inside and a tribute to a team known as the Knoxville Giants. The Negro Baseball League lends a great significance to the place where the stadium is. The Beck Cultural Exchange Center is dedicated to preserving black history and a partnership with that museum is helping offer every visitor a lesson about local trailblazers. The Knoxville Area Urban League is another partner with the number one goal of ensuring locals who live and work in East Knoxville will benefit from this stadium. For people who have historically been uh, uh, written out of projects, who haven't had the opportunity to engage. After 30 years, the stadium is expected to generate an estimate of more than $1 billion in economic benefits. The Knoxville Knox County Sports Authority says it's going to be more than just a stadium. It's what the uh, critical mass of a stadium can create and lead to in terms of economic development that is really so exciting. Now, city and county taxpayers, as well as the state, are helping pay for this project, but the majority of the money is coming from private development, and we should know the final construction price, the moment we've all been waiting for, mm -hmm. by the end of the year. Beth? All right, Mary Klingler with the update. Thank you.